a long time. I'm not breaking any computers. Fox is crazy. Yeah. We're sending you Bill's Fox if you break the machine here. God damn it. Anyway, it's time for the... Uh, well, it's, it will soon be time for the next map. A PC has to be replaced. Maybe Fox broke it already. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's done his uh, job already. Uh, so Shroud refuses to dive. How do you feel about that, Dan? I have no feelings about this. I just, I just uh, concerned for Dupree. I've never heard a human being make that noise before. Yeah, yeah. So you should get that looked at. We actually, we often have concern for Dupree at our. <laughs> That's true. Yes. You know, there's always weird things going on with Dupree, but hopefully he is okay. Uh, interesting mix of that was that rap as well. Yeah. Need to get so, the uh, the get Dupree show back. I think we do, but first we have to qualify for finals. Um, nothing, <laughs> nothing featured into that. Uh, the. Um, the interviewer in that was actually doing a beatbox for him, but he oh really? Yeah, he chickened nice. out. Chickened out. There's no beatbox in the interviewer, so so we had to hire Dupree to make apparently, whatever God of War sound it is. Do you think Envy can make a comeback on Nuke? I think absolutely. I know, I know that it's you know oftentimes you know it can be in this situation where okay you know the map feels like you go to a map where you get completely dominated. You kind of forget what it's like to win rounds, let alone frag somebody and and so on. So that that always feels very very awful. But there's been you know, a bit of a break. These players are really experienced. They know how to mentally reset and go into a new map. And Nuke is a good map for Envious. It's a good map for Envious. The, th the thing about it, though, is that Optic are playing so, uh, playing in a way where they're so structured, so disciplined, that that actually, uh, you know, this this is not going to be easy for Envious, no matter what happens. But one thing can be sure is that we're going to see Kenny S with an AWP, and I think that is a winning condition for Envious. If I remember correctly, I think Optic yesterday said that they don't practice Nuke. I think. That's right. Don't, don't crucify. That guy's had a lot of sugar, James. Perhaps he has. Um, yeah, I think I think they. This should be a good map for Envy in terms of versus Optic. It should be. But are their minds in the right place? I, I'm still very perplexed as to the uh, the decisions on the first two buy rounds from Envy. But hopefully their heads are firmly in the game for this match. It's these two sides. Tarek looks really focused. Yeah, Tarek's awesome, by the way. I have to say he is uh, one of the nicest guys to meet backstage. Yeah. Always smiling. Always. Saying hello to you. No social awkwardness there at all. He's awesome. <laughs> no social awkwardness. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen the knife round just yet, so I'm not sure which team is going to begin. We're just waiting for the uh, last player to join the server. Presumably, that is whoever's having issues with their computer. Yeah. It's. Uh, it's. I mean, this only serves to help Envious really kind of just kind of warm up, kind of just get rid of any of those, those negative feelings that they had in the previous previous map. But again, also at the same time. They weren't able to play. They kind of weren't able to play there at all. I mean, there's so many spots where, you know, maybe Kinesis could shoot not, but it's because he's saving, right? And there's, you've got loads of spots where MBK maybe he can get some shots off, but they they he's mostly playing with the Deagle because they never have any money, and they're always in a spot where they have to. They, they, it's impossible to break the economy of optics. So it's just they, they couldn't. They were out of that after the first seven or eight rounds. Yeah, that's that's what happened there. So that that almost makes it a little bit easier in some senses because they didn't get loads of spots where it's like, oh, I got into all these spots and we lost because. I, I failed here or I failed here, there in like in spots where I could, I could have actually had a big impact on, on the round and us winning the match. There from just a whole team approach perspective, the decision making was I don't think on point. So that's gonna be that's gonna be good I think uh, for Envious. At least it was a quick a quick death. What is going on? What is going on over there? Yeah, that's that's the good thing is that it was a uh, it was brief. They got three rounds, so they can just put that behind them and move swiftly on and focus on the next again. It is best of three, and Optic currently lead with a very strong 1-0. But on the subject of momentum, you know, Op Optic they're they're playing fearless. Honestly, the the transition in this team since they kicked their in-game leader is <laughs> is crazy. It's absolutely bananas. Quite like that, I get sectioned immediately, James. Yeah, we have we have hospitals in the UK for people like that. <laughs> And one cool thing again is uh, with Optic, you know, they, they mentioned how young they are. They're not the, they're not, they're not a team with boatloads of experience. Yet they play as though they have a huge amount of experience. And one of the ways you can tell that is just because they're able to perform in loads of clutch situations. The pressure doesn't affect them in, in to, a, to a huge degree, and that takes a lot of getting used to playing on a professional stage. Hey, nipples are banned on Twitch. I don't even understand I'm not sure what's going on. what those things mean. Oh, bowl cuts! Uh. I remember bowl cuts. I used to, I used to uh, have people that lived near me, where you know, mummy would get the bowl, then cut around the bowl, and then you've got a bowl head, and the bowl was never straight, so your hair was like that. It's not me though. Shave that stuff. No bowls over here. How about you? You ever, you ever had the bowl? I like it. I'm basically an Afro James. Well, yeah, you've never had haircuts in your childhood, essentially. Yeah. You just had, <laughs> 
had some wild kind of. Just just one every like six or eight months. You were full jungle mode. Yeah. So when did you, when you did cut that massive afro? I mean, were you just trimming it, or were you shaving it, or what were you doing? No, I was just I was just I didn't really cut it. I just, <laughs> I just let it grow. Jay, so I didn't do the same thing. That girl services are unlicensed to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of signs. You guys are awesome in the crowd. So these uh, PC, these niggling PC issues on that last NV player are uh, continuing. So that's why we are still talking gibberish, Dan. Yeah. On the desk. But we like talking gibberish. Yeah, we do. We're pretty good at talking gibberish. That's part of uh, why we get paid, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We could have job description, uh, get paid to talk nonsense every so often. Sometimes, every now I, and then. sometimes I struggle to talk. Do you, do you ever have moments where you just, you just you struggle to actually form words, and, you, and then you realise that, that that is your job? I get tongue-tied <laughs> sometimes, and that's that's very frustrating when you're yeah. when you're commentating and you can't speak English because yeah, we are English broadcasters, after all. Yeah, it's uh, it's always very very weird when I come to America and people think that I'm Australian, James. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Why do people think? Can someone explain that. That we're also, I don't say good day or, or do I say geezer in Australia? Uh, maybe. I mean, there are some similarities, obviously. You just, well, you don't say good day, but like Giza is something you, could, you would say in, in the good UK. Maybe no, they, they call them Sheila. Sheila. They just generally call every woman as Sheila. What's in that? Australia. Sheila. Really? Sheila. I don't yeah. know that. They're all Sheilas. I respect. It's got rest for her. Man, that is uh, the, the mating face. I am ready. But so are you. <laughs> oh, dear me. CSGO is being restarted, I'm told. Oh, Happy has joined the server. He was, he was lurking offline. But now he's nice, on the server. Nicely done. Yeah, so perhaps yeah. we will begin soon. So you're, you're favoring NV to take this map. You think we're going three maps? Uh, it's, you know what? I'm going to take Optic. I'm going to swing to Optic just because I feel like at the moment their the, the decision making generally seems to be a bit better. And that's, that's obviously a big, big, uh, big part of it. Because as I said in the last map, it wasn't even a performance issue necessarily for Envious. There were spots where, okay, performance comes into play. And maybe if you win like two 1v1s in a row, that's great. Your team can maybe win the round and all that kind of stuff. But generally, it was a, like it was a team strategy. That was the problem. Team decision making was the problem. What is this? Is so. so crazy. Stanislaw in the chat wrote Femme La Bush, which is like saying, shut your damn mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Dinosaurs are extinct, so you have to favor the, uh, the birds here. Things are, things are getting violent there. I don't know what to say about this. Security doesn't seem close. We saw, we saw people thrown out of MLG Columbus for less. That's those, true, those, actually, Those yeah. liquid fans taken. Oh, there we go. There we go. You better, you better sit down, boy. You better sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. The knife round. Did it just take place, or it's about to take place? One or the other. Anyway, I think we're, we're almost ready. Yeah. Did you know "ferme la porte" means please close the door? No, I didn't know that. There you go. But you're half French and half Indian. I'm not half French or half Indian. I'm quarter, quarter French and quarter Indian. How many languages do you speak? Zero. One. One. Zero point eight of a language. <laughs> One. Almost. Maybe. Almost speak English. But you can't speak French, and all your family speaks French. Yeah, I'm the only person in my language, in my family who's not fluent in French. Why is that? I think my main issue is that I didn't speak French at home, so I never got to practice it. So then I just uh, now I just embarrass myself. Is it like proper French that your family speaks, or is it like Creole or something, or like well, some? most most of them live in France, so it's it's mostly French. So there is a uh, another technical issue now. So we're back here. What do we talk about that? What do we talk about? During your technical issues. My favorite thing, things are French, actually, like cheese boards or cheese platters, whatever they call them here. Cheese selection and of wine. cheeses. Selection of cheeses. The, the, I like the chef's selection. You didn't. You had never tasted Roquefort, though. We had that. Yeah. We had that thing on the stream. Yeah, that's true. Where you first tasted Roquefort. All right. So. Hopefully we can get this resolved soon and get an update as update as to what is the problem now because everyone's on the server. So everyone is on the server indeed. Uh, I think there's just adjusting something on the communication server of NV, making sure that French goes through. Oh, you can see uh, NVK's progress with his um, his sleeve. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a, a new thing. Lots of coloring has been done. I don't think I'm ever going to get a tattoo. Never. No, I don't think I, that's the thing I'll do. I'm going to get 4K DDK. <laughs> Or oh, my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's that's a nice plug there. Thanks, thanks for that. You're welcome. I need to make more videos on there, actually. Did you know Dan used to be a Quake player for 4K back in the day? 
back in the day on 4K. And Dignitas, you're an ex-Dignitas player was, as well. Yeah, Dignitas. That was the first team I signed a contract with back in 2005, James. Shut up. Have you ever signed a contract with a team? No. Because you suck. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Actually, I think uh, me and James, I, I challenged them to uh, 1v1 CS money matches the other oh, day. Oh, okay, so check this out, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Put a camera on us, goddammit. We've got something to talk about. We've got something to talk about right now, all right? So Dan, because he's a because he's a quake god, he's like, I would crush you in a one versus one. But this, all, this all started because Semler said he'd crush you in 1v1, right? Semler's a little bitch. Let's not worry about Semler. I will crush him <laughs> oh all day. God. But Dan said he would beat me in a one versus one for a hundred dollars in Counter Strike, and I'm down for that. I will, I will take that challenge. Yeah, I'll take that challenge it's because streaming. because because yes, you are a stronger aimer than I am in the game, but I think that I have I have the I have the I have the mind, I have the mind, I have the positioning. We will see, but I will I will totally. Uh, obviously, this won't take place in America. You know, it will take place in, a, in in some other country where we won't get arrested for, for like gambling. That. I'm no optometrist, but I'll take a look. Unlicensed. Unlicensed then. Unlicensed? Are you sure? Unlicensed optometrist. She looks, she looks smart. I haven't seen any ID over there. I have to assume it's unlicensed. That's true. You need, you need like a diploma on your wall. That's that's how you know it's official. You need, you need a wall and a diploma so you can put the, the, the diploma on the wall. That's how it works. It's game oh, time, wow. finally! Nice. Let's get into this. Optic Gaming on the CT side. Not their strongest map by any means. But uh, perhaps they've got the confidence to take it over the line. What is the play from Envy? Just a quick note, this is uh, the previous version of Nuke because the updates were released too close to the finals for it to be fair on the players to use it today. Not taking moving towards Ramp, but Rush could be the bait. Good for the pistols, not on this occasion though. Zanzlo was great, but the fight made just start and finish on the ramp. Advantages for Envy, two plays left for Optic. Tarek and Mixwell though, there's two, two pretty tough players to deal with, but nasty. Tagging onto Tarek, he's with seven points of health. Not much he can do from this position. Mixwell, he's got to get it all done by himself, but he will go down straight away. So, looking amazing right now for Envious. They are going to be off to a stormer of a start. That is, that is what they needed. They really needed to get going straight away. Now, the question is, what is their anti-eco going to look like? Because this is actually kind of a, a complicated map to play your anti-eco, because there's so many spots the CTs can hide in. That, uh, that you can play the close ranges with. So it is by no means an easy task, but this is a good map for Envy, and they're gonna double Mac 10, so they definitely have a plan here. Right then, the road to recovery begins for the Envy side. That's not a good start though, <laughs> that road to recovery, Dan. Huh? Oh dear, at least it wasn't as bad as uh, Fox's moonwalking team kill with the knife yesterday. Tarek getting taken down early. Nafly with very forward play. But uh, what can they do? Envy have the range advantage outside. They know they're not inside. But Top Tick will probably have to position themselves inside regardless. Envy clearing out areas, but not committing to anything just yet. Still early days. Ooh, there you go. MBK able to take down Sansar outside. So that's cool because that means outside is completely clear now. So that's one thing going in the way of Envious. But again, still three players left. Still three potentially dangerous positions. To have to deal with, and uh, I'm glad you can in, in the future version of, of this map no longer plant on those silos. They fixed that, which was good. The troll plants. So Envious are going to be making their way now together to be able to make sure they can always trade to get themselves onto a bomb site. Looking to go for the open areas onto A with Squeaky and the hut position. But where are the optic players? Well, Kenny's going to find himself mixed well, but still two are lurking. Honestly, this is su it's such a stressful place to play your anti-eco, James, on this nuke. Where are the final two players? That is a question for Envy, but they need to get the bomb down. There are 20 seconds left, and that's where you don't want those errors coming in. You hear the beep beep. It's not a Missy Elliott song, though. It's the bar oh. being planted. There you go, right? will be soon to follow, getting his knife out. Not at the right time, though. 2-0 to Envy. We look forward to the uh, buys of Optic to come. Again, another situation where none of their would-be orpers have 3,400 in the bank. Nice to see some Optic fans in the crowd. Yesterday was dominated by uh, the Cloud9 guys. But now the blue has changed to green. 
we have double nade. The classic double nade outside, perhaps. From Salisaur and Tarek. And here it is. Is it going to do anything? It's one player there. And it's Apex. Oh, only 30 damage ish to Apex. So, unfortunately, not doing too, too much there for Optic. A bit of a formality this round. Envy is probably played a uh, very similar, similar fashion. It can be a bit more aggressive, though. But the USPs are still dangerous. I mean, with USPs, they're going to take two kills there. That is actually a lot of damage. If you consider the damage done in the previous round, I think Optic will be already pretty happy, pretty pleased with that. But I'm so curious to see how their buy rounds, buy rounds are going to go on this map. So two more players to find. Stanislaw's position. Oh, just missing Happy there. But I think Stanislaw must have given his position away. Yeah, Happy's looking for it. And playing the ladder with the Mag-10. Dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. But Happy gets the frag. And three players will survive for Envious. 3-0. But now we get into the real Counter-Strike. What is the buy of Optic? No snipers just yet. Starting with the uh, M4s and the FAMAS. No helmets. Happy continuing with the MAC-10. These guys need auto-tune in the crowd. Kenny on the AWP early. Obviously, they've had a better start. But that's a good sign nonetheless. Movement outside from Envy looking for a fast split into the A site. Nathalie's in trouble. Yeah, he or is. is he? I mean, he's going to lose his teammate there, so he's alone now. But he did manage to hold down the first frag. A second one as well. That's a pretty good result there for Naf, all things considered. And now maybe there's a chance here for Tarek. Stanislaw finds a great timing, prevents the bomb from going down. And in the distraction, the chaos. In comes Tarek from the back. And now is happy with a Mac 10. With a Mac 10, Tarek steals it away. And Optic with the first buy round going their way, and Tarek has got himself a lovely AWP to play with. That is going to feel nice. Nice. The great North American hope, Optic, win the first buy round on their CT side. We'll see where Tarek chooses to go with this AWP. He's got one of the more forward spawns on the team at the moment, as you can see him there on the left. But uh, I do wonder if he's going to be static, maybe towards the ramp. He's going outside for the time being. So it looks like his plays will be more of the dynamic nature. He may have people coming his way early, but grenades are being deployed. So the Wall of Smokes from the NV side looking to have that delayed grenade behind red. But NV are moving close to main. They've got no lurkers though in the inner area. Ah, they are avoiding those grenade areas. And that fly around the corner. Tries to get a first frag, now they move down towards secret. Yeah, nice movement actually, but Tarek is going to pick off some of them before, uh, as they go down. So it's, it's going to be really tough here for Envy to actually capitalize, but they do have control room, which is a really, really good position. It's going to anchor yourself on when you go for that uh, lower bombsite plant. And you can see the grenade work is actually keeping Sandstorm at bay for the time being. It's all buying a lot of time here for Envy to set up. So they have the positions that they wanted, but now they just have to put the performance in. And that's something they didn't get the opportunity to do on the first map, but here they can. There's the first kill. Apex takes down Nafly. And now he's going to find both remaining CTs. Apex oh. with two. Mixwell is going to be there, though, to get the trade frag. And still, this is looking very scary, but Kenny S is lurking in the vents now. The time is starting to dwindle here for the CTs. They have to be fast now. Everybody on the server at the moment is very low. Nice grenade play here from Kenny S, but the defuse comes oh. in. He's got to go forwards. Stanislaw with the cover, and just about. Mix well and Stanislaw will get it done, but that was very awkward for a while. AWP salvaged by Stanislaw also. It's a good start from Optic following the pistol. How much momentum can they get? Money starting to run low from Envy, but they're going to buy anyway. Apex happy coming out of the AK to the UMP. So perhaps Kenny will be running around with the Tech 9. I don't think there's a gun on the floor for him. That will be the play. Lots of grenades, though, for Envy, all things considered. We'll see what they can do with them. Some teams like to do the wall of, do the wall of smokes outside every single round, the Star of Dragon style. Yeah, very fast movement there from Apex. Just getting himself straight out there for a very fast timing to just pick people up. Apex is a very aggressive player. He just loves, he loves making moves like that. He's obviously finding a bit more freedom on this map as opposed to map one. But Kenny S will go down outside. But there is a trade. Finally, Apex finds his mark. Going to be the push onto uh, through radio onto ramp, but it's not really working out here. Stansel takes down MBK, so despite getting some work done outside for, with Apex, right now MBS is still looking for the way in. Is it through Stanislaw? 
Apparently it is. In the meantime, Apex is uh, rotating down towards B3 Secret, so they can pinch the B bomb site. Sixer needs to hold on to the ramp area. He's got Happy in for support. He's got to be careful, though. Flashbang comes in, and he can entertain Rush in this position. But no, it's the bomb. The trades, though, come in from Sixer, but now he can't hold the ramp because he needs to bring the bomb down in towards B. Yeah, 45 seconds to play with. There is time. Drop comes in from Naf. Sixer is going to be loving that all day. Easy kill for him. And now Mixwell, Spanish superstar, is in the one versus two. The bomb goes down on the lower sights. Time to play with. Mixwell has a lot to do here, though. He's got a single flashbang to work with with an AK-47. And now he's going to be making his way through the vents. Will he give any sound cues, though, to his opponents? Looks like he's only just worked out that it's lower sights. And he is just going to be walking away here. So it looks like he's not going to give it a go. I mean, he doesn't really have the time. And they don't have any money here. So it goes for the safe, finds the AWP. Definitely the best play he could make here at this point. So open to the next round. Envious doing well, though. They've got a, they're going to have a 4-2 start. They've already shaken the money of Optic. And they can run away with this a little bit. Yeah, you see the lack of cash on both sides. Big round for Envy to win. Surviving with two players, it's not going to be ideal for either side, but that might lead to great counter strike. I say two players, uh, one of them was lost towards the end there, so indeed one player surviving for both. Neither side will have an ideal buy, and obviously it's going to be quite weird for Optic. They could force around the AWP, but it seems they will uh, eco around it, just buying the odd thing here and there. So Mixwell is going to be the man to watch with the full armor as well. Often in these situations, you'll see them. If he, get, like if he gets a pick, you can expect him to uh, change his position entirely to try and catch a rotating NV. Looks like he'll be starting in the A sites. No fast play, no fast anti eco from NV. Their beginning will be delayed. One flash onto Mixwell. That's not it for the grenade. And he's still coming in from Apex. Should lead to a push into A. So what is. Makes well do now. It's two versus three. There's, there's still opportunity for him, but he may start to think about saving. Yeah, I don't think Envious are going to be allowing him to save all too easily. But Rush actually could cause some problems here. AP 250 can never be underestimated. But this should be good positionally for this. And yeah, there it is. The following kills coming in, and Mix will go down. No warp save for him. And Envious, I mean, you can already see that they have a lot more freedom, especially playing the, the T side to make the plays. So that is going to be very interesting now because Envious, we haven't really seen Kenius on the Yorp just yet. That's, that's been something in this series so far that ha has evaded us, which is unfortunate as we all are big fans of that. But on the T side for this map, it's not too bad. Yeah, he started on the Yorp in their first buy rounds. So anyway, Optic on the uh, Eco now. Kevlar's and Pistols coming out, leaving themselves with around 2800. Here, back on a rough average. Okay, 2400 for losing this round so far. Oh, oh dear. Well, three kills almost in stereo fashion for Optic, and there's a fourth one. What has happened to this round? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what is this guy doing, James? All of a sudden, there were three kills in one second. Yeah, man, just playing into lobby, and Squeaky Door seems to be pretty strong. Those pistols. Look what it's done to the money of Envy. They've got no money. Oh, oh man. <laughs> nah, please. Makes it look easy. How all these players picking at the same time with two of the biggest tournaments uh, this year in the space of a week could not be better for Optic. See if it continues on this map. Envy's turn for pistols. They've got some deagles of their own, but you can't expect a repeat of that previous round. Yeah, a couple of flashbangs to work with too to try to get themselves onto a plant. See, that flashbang does stop Mixwell from taking engagement. It kind of splits the defense a little bit. But Mixwell in with the AK. He is fantastic. Look at this transfer. Mixwell is so good. And no bomb plant, only a couple kills there. But that was quite amazing from Envious. They got two kills out of two flashbangs and a couple of pistols. So, I mean, that was actually a pretty impressive round from them with so little to do so much. And now Optic, uh, they're on four rounds against the five of Envious. Envious are going to ship in the buy. So we'll see how this buy, what it looks like ultimately. Happy on the P250, Apex on the Galil. Beyond that, everything else is normal. Double up on the CT side indeed. So uh, at least they have utility envy. They may find out about these orbs the hard way, but once they do, maybe they can use their grenades to get close and overwhelm these uh, sniper, sniper players. Maflo moving over towards the lower ground after no fast aggression into A. 
something that we might see in the new new the way the uh, approach to squeaky door has been changed. They're going for the upper execution here and down into the lower bomb site through the vents, just causing chaos and then slipping away to that deep bomb site to just try to get that plant in. It's very awesome stuff there from Envy, as you can see again why they like to play this map. And how does Optic deal with this? They've got two orbs on a retake at the lower bomb site. Nobody's died yet for them, though, so that's good. Apex, very important one versus one. Wow, Apex fade away with the Galil. And that's one frag for him. Four versus four. Kenny S finds himself the back of Stannis Law, just overwhelming the, the CTs with these positions. Kenny S with the rifle able to switch up to the orb. Now he has earned it. And now Rush will go down. Beautiful round coming in from Envious. The score so tight, though. If you're a Kenny, if you're a Kenny fan, if you're an Envy fan, are you worried at the moment? Just two rounds between these two sides. Mixed ball with eight thousand dollars. He's got a lot more money than his teammate, so I do wonder if he's going to spread the love, spread the wealth. He's dropped uh, three thousand dollars worth of pistols. Well, he's went off armor as well. So Butcher Buy coming in for Optic Five Deagles, looking to land those meat shots onto Envy. What is their anti-eco approach? Not a force five from the uh, other side. Kenny with that early peek towards main. Can often find uh, a would be CT aggressor there to pick off. Oh man, how did they get these deagle shots like that? They're just crouch peeking headshots, it's gross. Tarek spots Apex, he's in an awkward position. Yeah, I'm almost expecting Tarek to do the same thing now. Oh, Molly comes in. That's nice from Apex. Just keeping it safe, forcing him out of the position. Leaving nothing to chance, but Kenny S will get himself a pick off as well. I think this will go a lot better at this point. You can see that they're a little bit paranoid as well. Watching everything there in lobby and the plays that Optic are trying to make aren't quite working out, but another Deagle kill does come in regardless. Mixwell finds himself a body shot onto Happy, and Rush is still alive. I just feel like you can just never count out Optic at this point. Envy looking to plant on the B bomb site. So need to do it fast before those CTs get into position. And there it goes. Mixwell dispatched of Rush with three players to find. There is a gap though on the ramp. Kenny was looking the wrong way, but he has opted for uh, the AK instead of trying to hold on to this, I assume. See if Optic can get back to winning ways in the coming rounds. Kenny has on 12 kills so far, leading at the scoreboard for his team. Great to see after the previous map's performance. Yeah, and again, it's, it's such a stark difference when you can see Envious in a position where it's like, okay, we've got, we can, we can buy, but we can't have the best buy. We can't have an AWP. We, we have to have a player on a Galil. It's gone a Tech 9. got a couple of AKs and a crush utility. Okay, we have a round for this. We have a round for this. You can see straight away, okay, we're going for the, the, the upper set piece. It, it looks like an upper set piece, but in reality, we're going to go for the fast drop down. Completely caught Optic off guard. But now Optic have seen it once. But that said, Envious did use that round in probably one of the best spots they possibly could have when their economy was almost ruined at that very pivotal moment, and they have reaped the rewards. So Envious with some great selections on the plays. But, uh, we're going to see Mag7 in from NAF, up onto Stanislaw. Optic uh, with a, a very decent buy, actually. I miss the Mag7 on this map. Yeah, it was notorious with JW towards the squeaky door. And swag. Ooh, interesting. They've chosen to blow off the squeaky door with that grenade, if you just saw it. Nafly looking to invite guests through the door. How polite of him. NBK picked off very early by Stanislaw with the AWP. So not Mixwell, not Tarek, but Stanislaw. Sometimes see Nafly north as well. Does anybody not orb here? Nafly up close against Apex. There goes the bomb as well. Kenny trades, but the bomb is in control of Nafly. Rush picking Kenny as well. Nafly with the off angles, not hiding behind the, uh, the CT vent. Happy was trying to spray anybody. He was avoiding that. So close on there. And there's Nafly to finish Happy off. One kill in that round for Envy. Yeah, this is starting to uh, look a lot closer. I think Optic are going to be in a position where, you know, if they're able to win this the next buy against uh, Envious, they're going to be good to go for a pretty solid half. And this is this is going to be, obviously, it's already a much closer game than the, than the overpass, which is good to see. But uh, it's pretty much anyone's, I feel like, between these two teams. The one big question mark for me is actually Optic's uh, T side. I don't know if that they have as good of a T side as Envious, so that's going to be something we'll answer later. But for now, it's Kenny S on the AWP, Stanislaw on the AWP, full buy for both sides. Stanislaw watching upper bottom side, looking for some deep angles, some pixel angles perhaps. Tarek playing the off angle outside here, as we can see. So kind of Optic are giving outside to Envious. Very hard for the T's when the uh, CT's change their approach as well. 
to figure out what's going on. Manisal, look how close he is with that AWP. No fear again from these Optic players. Which is why it's so fun to watch teams like uh, Optic, like G2. Absolutely no fear whatsoever. Apex just picking into main on his own. Not going to work out. Envy looks look to be playing for picks at the moment. Not uh, having much success in this particular round. Neither side has really sprung rounds together just yet. And within two rounds, one consecutively, ignoring the pistol. Optic might have a good opportunity to do that though now. Presuming that's envious can't still save this. Stanis for nailing happy as he goes through the door haphazardly. And that's gonna be the round for Optic. Six to seven now. And we start to see some of the comfort for them. And as you said, Envious in that round, it was very pick oriented. Everybody's trying to make the play to get themselves into the round in some way, but just everybody falling flat. Optic able to hit all their shots there. And now Envious, they have to save. They've got to go for a save round. Optic should better take this to 7-7 seven, seven without too much issue. We saw some cool. Uh, we saw a cool round previously with like two flashbangs uh, from Envious when they went upper, but this time they don't even have any flashbangs. There's no grenades whatsoever. People have been saying that this map is uh, quite CT sided, so maybe seven rounds is pretty good for our enemy here. Eight looks unlikely, especially with the bomb going down immediately. Some old school rush vent tactics being attempted there from Envy, but uh, no success to be had in the second last round of the first half. Left themselves with around two thousand dollars in the bank for the final rounds. But indeed, with seven rounds in the bag for Envy at the moment, maybe they're going to have a very strong CT side. Yeah, and I'm really curious for the, the last buy round of Envious, what strategy they select. Because they've shown us that okay, pick, picking is something they, what they like to do, but also they have a lot of these, uh, these fast uh, set pieces, which they could delay and all, all that kind of jazz. So we might see them going back to that because they haven't had a huge amount of success. Ooh, look at this, Apex. <laughs> Lining it up, but he is to be assassinated by Rush. I, I would ex actually expect them to go with uh, a set piece again. Maybe that's the upper play that they went for with the vent dive. Could be pretty nice. But actually, we've got, we might have a round on our hands here. Happy finds himself a kill. And also, Kenny S has got himself onto the AWP. Kenny finds himself. Although, he can't, unfortunately. It would be nice to have that for the next round as well. But there's a lot of time on the clock. Happy around the world. The only place he can go, really. And there it is. Death by paper cuts for him. Last round of the first half, seven to seven between these two sides. Kenny's got 48-50. Does he go AWP no armor? I think he's going to go AK. I think I think the set, the set piece oriented play is probably going to help Envious the most. He's, yeah, he's going to get the AK and a bunch of grenades here. So he doesn't actually get a Molotov, but that's fine. That's fine. Each of their own, I suppose. He could have afforded one, James. It's only $100 more. It's a bargain. He's opted for the high explosive. So let's have a look. Seems that uh, the Wall of Smokes is likely from MV in the last round. That deep smoke from the CTs can cause the problem, so that could allow Tarek to hide behind Reddy. Tried to do it, but he got taken down by NBK. Early pickoff for Envy. Stanislaw looking to even the numbers. Ooh. <laughs> the Lemming falling down, but they will survive. Slowly walking towards Secret. They will clear out the area as they've done before, but they haven't always committed after doing that. Just pushing the CTs back, denying them information. They're looking to take uh, control elsewhere. I'm so happy Mixol's here in control room. You have to have a CT here. You have to play for delay. He's going to go for the frag though. There's no smoke from Mixol. He has the frag. There's one. Can't find himself a second. It's MBK who man oh. manages to pull off the entry frag. And it's a three versus three now as MB is trying to get this play into the lower bomb site, working there in their favor. But it's just Kenny S left now as Rush and Nafly take down his comrades. He's picked up the bomb. He's got 50 seconds to play with. And he's going to be able to get the plant down somewhat safely here. But he's got. CTs very close by. Stanislaw and Nafly both coming in from the A site. Kenny may have an early engagement. Sees the barrel, but he can't do anything. The silencer gave the position away, but Nafly is just absolutely on point this week, maybe even this month. More CS to come. Last round taken by Optic, a thin lead moving into the second half. Now the question is can Envy capitalize on their seven rounds and move to map number three? And it was a pretty nice recovery from Optic as well. You know, some good solid play out of them. Uh, Envious, you know, showing us that they have quite a playbook they can deploy on their T side of Nuke. So they, they've done a good job. But how how does the defense go? Because defense, you can do a lot with with uh, the with the new Nuke. There's a lot of options for aggression. Lots of ways to play uh, with Orb without Orb giving up outside. Trying to have a strong presence outside. There's there's so many ways you can play the rotations too. If you go down a man early, it's not as bad because of the rotations. They're much easier to handle than other maps. So that means you can take a bit more in the way of risks early round for one versus ones and so on. So it's just a very different map. 
lots of possibilities for, for Envious and uh, Optic. But Pistol Round is going to feature some grenades here, actually. Optic with, uh, again, two men on grenades, a couple of smokes and a Molotov. I can't wait to see how they, they deploy these. Optic are breaking all the glass on the roof of the A site, and they have grenades to deploy into it. A flight lining them up. Maybe we'll see uh, smoke in towards main, although he is facing a different direction entirely. Sorry, towards the uh, heaven area rather, but that might indeed be going towards main. We shall see. One minute fifteen on the clock seems to be the uh, the go time. Uh, so the smoke down towards the squeaky door. That denies envy information as to T's moving in towards the vent area, but they're not committing to anything just yet. And taking it very slowly, maybe trying to force some kind of a rotation and capitalize on that, but they're going to have to go at some point. There is still a flashbang here for Optic, and they are going to start to march towards this A bomb site, but into the crossfire, into Apex with that USP. Oh, the, is the knife going to come out? No, Happy, I think he wanted to go for it, but easy frags there made by him. Tarek just stuck in no man's land here against all these CTs. What? Stansor comes in, he's got one HP. How do they win that? That has got to be a shocker for Envy. A sh that is, I mean, how, d how are they going to recover from that? That is brutal, the way they lost that round. Stanislaw with that P250. Always good to have a P250 on the T side. Gives you such better range for the one taps. Anyway, not a start Envy wanted. I'll leave it you to decide if it's the start they deserved. Optic have a great opportunity to extend their lead. Envy on the force buy. Kenny S picks up a deagle. Left himself of 8.50 in the bank. So we, we start to question the AWP once again on the buy round when it comes in for the French. Apex is hungry, man. He's hungry with this deagle. And we know what he can do with it. Waiting by the smoke. Oh! Ooh. Apex! Man. That is a full frontal lobotomy there performed by Dr. Apex. In the face. And now it's going to get interesting because Optic, they've got to be very careful. If they lose one more player, things could get really awkward. And there it is, six in a very forward position. And now Optic, they have to stick together. They've got to be able to trade. They've, and you can see that that's what they're trying to make sure they can do. But Envious, uh, they might have the opportunity to maybe pick one of those weapons up, but they may not need them. They know that outside has, is Optic's territory. And we just have loads of ways to play around this. Kenny in hell. NBK has happy for a crossfire. That flashback will give some information away. Six are frying up. There's NBK now, so the CTs are getting isolated as Optic want them to. All the kills flying in for the North Americans and Spanish. Bomb has been planted. Opportunity has come and gone for Envy in this round, leaving Kenny alone. Tarek is on about 60 HP, but he's, he's not really at quite the angle that Kenny can capitalize on. Not sure if he spotted Mixwell or if Mixwell spotted Kenny. Looking for anything, looking for something to take with him into the next rounds. And I think again here, you see, you see some of the class from Optic. Uh, generally, they, they play great Counter-Strike. I think they, they're a team that really understand how to play the fundamentals very well. And even when they get into kind of these, these awkward situations, like some teams aren't very good at handling those situations in mid-round. There's a bit of panic, there's a bit of chaos, because all of a sudden, you have to, all your players have to make a lot of decisions. Whoa. What was that? I saw that. I saw that. that what, what was he doing? Mixwell and Tarek were just jumping around like Super Mario Brothers for some reason, outside the hell position towards CT spawn. And one was in front of the other, and then the worst happened. That was so random. That was completely random. That was just, I, that was, yeah, just, I don't know what was going on. La 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 What? Why? La 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 I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Envy on the eco. Ken, uh, Kenny S has found himself with Galil. See what he can do with it. Is it going to be a fast play towards the A side? They know that there isn't much to offer on the enemy side in this round. But where is Kenny Fixer with the USB kill? Oh, the grenades are coming in. What's going on? Oh, that's the round over. Move on. That was a fun 15 seconds. <laughs> that's what she said. Not to me, though, of course. So 11 to 7 now, and uh, Optic again. Able to handle some of these incredibly chaotic situations and still be okay overall. That, that said, their money's really suffered here. So there is a great chance for Envious to steal away loads of rounds. 
they're able to take this one here. But Kenny S is playing naked. He is a nudist. He has an AWP, no Kevlar, no utility whatsoever. How do Optic play against this? Will they realize that Kenny's going to play outside with an AWP? What do they have to deal with this kind of CT defense? Interestingly, they could be taken off guard by the fact that uh, he didn't buy the AWP for the first two buy rounds in the previous map. Although it's always wise to assume that Kenny is AWPing, and indeed he is, as aforementioned, Tarek. That pop flash could allow him to move around towards the main, but he went overextend early. Rush moving towards secret. Kenny's oh. still outside. I think they're going to go for a. Sp I think he wants to split onto the lower bomb side through ramp and through outside. That's a possibility now, but. They did the wall of smokes with three smokes right now, so that's, that's really disorienting for Envious. If they can find this pick on ramp, they can, they, can, they can actually go for a split. And it would be very, very strong. Rush finds a kill onto NBK. And now there's real opportunity. Here goes, here goes Optic into ramp, but they don't spot Sixer. A lot of people to fight with, only good for the one kill. In the meantime, Thanatol gets picked off on the ramp by Kenny as well. He's looking to rotate. Mixwell with the bomb on the ramp. He needs some support though. He's far away from his other teammates, and indeed that split will have to continue at this point. Apex is going to get taken down in the vent. That's a lovely shot from Rush. And now Mixwell can maybe plant the bomb. Yeah, another, another beautiful round set up here by Optic Gaming. They actually gave themselves a lot of opportunities for, for uh, different plays. Should, some, should uh, something go wrong or something go right, they had a lot of flexibility with this one. Now, Envious, how do they handle this situation? I'm not sure they're even wanting to go for this now at this point. Yeah, they're going to try to save their weapons. As mentioned, their money really does suck in. Optic choosing a very strong round at the right time here to play against Envious. And with the Wall of Smokes as well, you just, you just know, don't know what's going on outside. You don't know how many players. Is it going to be loads of players going down there? They also had the ability to uh, go through main if they wanted to with the two players they had outside to go down the vents or to just cause more, more of a distraction. So lots of opportunities for Optic in, that, in the way that they built that round to, to have advantages against Envious. So Optic showing that they are very well versed on this map, just as Envious were. Five round lead for the uh, North American team. Stars and Stripes looking strong at the moment. Not much money on the NV side, but they'll buy around what they have. UMP coming out. Apex on a Deagle. So let's see what Optic choose to do. Mixwell is the most forward spawn of the AWP. Could go for a squeaky push, for example. Well, a squeaky peak rather than a push. He's headed in that direction. Not anymore, though. Using his spawn to go towards the ramp. Smoked off immediately. He will, be, have to, he will have to be entertained elsewhere. So you can see Sixer, that's quite the weak hold with the UMP. With stronger guns, you can't even uh, spray through the bottom right corner of the boxes as T's approach. But with a UMP, that is ill-advised. It's like shooting a spud gun, the UMP sometimes. Now, I think they are just keeping it really passive right now. I think, I think again, you know, they realize that the money is a little bit weak. And so they can they can afford to slow the pace down a little bit. So just going for this, the, the wall of smokes at a much faster pace, like they typically do. A very solid delay, and it's very standard timing as well. That if teams wanting to try to stay safe, they will wait until w the one minute mark around the runabouts to make the play. And there you can see once again wall of smokes in. Look how thorough they are. Look how many smokes they're using. This is nuts. Forty-five seconds for Optic. And he has a nice angle, but he's got too many angles to uh, to hold there. Spotting some players, but he can't get anything on that one. Apex taken down in the meantime. That UMP ah. at range is only good for one. Trades continue. Kenny on the high ground. Can't save his teammate. Can't save anyone. He's going down as well. One by one, they are falling. Optic Gaming with a flurry of kills in just a few seconds. And uh, I don't know if Envy can stop them at this point. Yeah, they're just, they're just so methodical. I just, you just have to really respect the way that they approach that round and, and how they try to pick outside and so on. Mixwell understands the angles very well. How's it you put it, James? More angles than a protractor. More angles than a protractor. Envy calling for a tactical timeout. They are in a lot of trouble. That is uh, clear to see. Yeah, MBK's face really says it all. Trying to focus on what can be done. Who is doing the talking at the moment? Doesn't seem like there's much chatter. Maybe just taking a moment to chill out. Yeah. Think of their their individual positions and what the habits of Optic Gaming are, how they can change things up, take them by surprise, and be good for more than one kill. 
yeah, it's really good they're using a timeout right now to break things up a little bit. Now, we have a Mag 7 onto Happy, so it is a half buy here from Envious. And half buys, again, very, very, very dangerous on this map. We saw, I think, a couple of counts where Optic were able to do a lot with, uh, with their half buys. And this one looks a bit more serious. <laughs> we have the Mag 7 incendiaries and so on, or A incendiary there for an incendiary from Happy. So Optic have to be careful. But one thing they showed us on Overpass is they know what to do against Force Buys and Half Buys and, and, and Ecos and so on. So right now, just trying to make sure that they uh, can stop any forward plays from Envious. But the real, the real problem starts when they have to move close into these bomb sites. Mix one needs to be careful. He's on his own towards the ramp position. You see six or NBK. Look how wiry they are. They are looking to rip someone's face off. Oh, no. They don't have many smokes, James. And that was not supposed to go there. That's a bad miss. Mix off backed off. They will not be entertained, those NV players, towards the ramp anytime soon. Happy's in A, holding a smoke in his hand. Looking for anarchy with obstructed vision. 50 seconds on the clock for Optic. Can they get that flurry of kills once again? Yeah, it's going to be really scary if the uh, first pack goes away. And look at this, playing the Tracer in lobby, trying to use those pistols to a great effect. And Happy finally comes in with the Mag 7, a two versus three. And there is 40 seconds here for Optic. They, they, there is some time to work with, but they have to speed things up. You can see they're going straight down to ramp right now. And Happy and Kenny S, can they do this with the Mag 7 and with the CZ? It's going to be tough. But they need this round badly. Kenny's in a great position to open the door, but he doesn't have an angle on the bomb planter. Bomb down goes the bomb. Happy with the AWP. Will he choose to save? It doesn't seem so. I don't know. Maybe he can, if he can find an angle here, he could go for it. But otherwise, I would expect the save to come in. Slowly backing off. Still holding the angle though, but I think uh, he needs to run away. Oh, missing the shot and the hunt begins. <laughs> I'm really worried he might not save the AWP. There it goes again. Oh man, it's getting intense. Oh, no scope. There's the save. He's good to go now. He's he though. That's the rush. Look at rush position. Oh, rush dies to the bomb. Oh, oh my oh, god. What? That is ridiculous. Just hide, man. Just hide. <laughs> I can't take that save like that. I thought he had his hand off the mouse or something. That oh, was just man. like. What is, man, that is the most ridiculous save. It's like he's had his hand off his mouse, I'm just chilling right now, I'm, f I'm fine. Oh! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Sit down. Run that 20 times, how many times do you hate that shot? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Optic with that's double the score of Envy, two, game, two rounds away from a 2-0 over the French side. Both teams back on the buy and indeed happy saves that AWP for Kenny S in the most absurd of fashions. Kenny getting tagged instantly down to one HP at the beginning of the round. One HP, I mean, that means he's still alive and he does have an orb, so there's still impact for Kenny S to have. Nades become incredibly scary though. He could die to a flashbang. He could die to pretty much anything right now. Not to anything, literally anything that does in the game, he would die to it. Right, so we have Optic working on a lot of lobby presence actually early in the round. And it's really interesting what would have happened if they would have gotten that pick early on. I think uh, they're, again, a team that is very good at playing off the, the early round advantage, but that's not going to be given up just yet. I mean, Mixor got tagged as well, so he's not feeling too confident to really go for picks. As you can see, because of that, they're just going to say, all right, let's just get the map control play going. We don't want to play for picks just yet. Let's get some map control push forwards and see what we can get out uh, on the outside. Maybe a response, maybe an engagement comes to us, but we can get more forward positioning to get a, a split onto a bomb site and maybe maybe a frag as well. Apex is lurking by main. He's asking questions right now. But there are no answers. Nafly still lurking for the time being. 25 seconds. Optica really running the clock down. This is going to be a scary one. There's the one spotted. One pick immediately for the CT side. He's still got Happy on the high ground. He's put the smoke down as well. So this is going to be hard for Optic to plant the bomb, especially with 12 seconds on the clock. Where's the bomb plant coming in? I can't see a bomb plant. But they're getting the kills. Nothing but headshots. It's Kenny left with one HP. How have they won this round like that? Man, another amazing round from Optic. Just, I don't even know. Most teams will fall apart in that position. Somehow they find every single kill.
Envious are going to be really, really disappointed with that one. That was the chance to be back into this game, but now they're facing match point optic. They crushed Envious on overpass, completely crushed them. And now Envious are staring down the barrel of the gun. Optic have so many ways to win rounds against Envious. That's what they've shown us so far. Kenny is back on the buy. At least it's a good looking buy here for Envious. They've got everything more or less that they want, limited on utility. So an early round advantage would be amazing, but. Can Kenny give it to them? There's not too much traffic outside just yet. Optica are going to play it fairly slowly to begin with. A change of pace from Optic. Envy once again at the mercy of their North American opponents, who continue to fly to flag, to fly the flag in the most violent of ways. Here are the ECS finals. Looking to book their place into the final match later this evening. Still clearing the glass on the roof. That could suggest a play towards A. Doesn't have to be though. But maybe Envy will commit more forces there. Molotov going in towards A. And there's a flash bunk from Stanislaw as well. I see Nafly looking for an opening in the meantime. The bomb's still on the roof though. As the wall of smokes goes down outside. And that's the first time they've done the Wall of Smokes outside and had nobody there. And, it, and so that could be quite confusing for Envious. They have somebody actually trying to push this Wall of Smokes, so they actually know. I think Apex has pushed it, or he's trying to listen in for the info. But in come all the players towards ramp. There's the first pick. Rush! He's so on point right now. Although the trade will come in. Sixer, how many can he get? There's one. Gets the second as well. Sixer holding down ramp. But there's still one more push to go into the upper bombsite. Tarek, the last man standing, but not standing for all too long. MBK with the frag, with the defense. And th this means so much to Envious. Optic literally left the bomb on the roof. They were all inside and the bomb was on the roof. Tarek had to go back to get it. So I think they might have, uh, they might have sabotaged their own timing by forgetting the bomb on their journey towards one of those bomb sites. That puts the money in a difficult situation for the Optic side. So there's opportunity for Envy to claw back some rounds, but still there is a quite reasonable buy from Optic. One rifle, uh, they're one rifle down, and I don't think that's going to concern him too much, the way this half has been going. No, absolutely not. That's the first, that's, that's the first round this half for Envy. Really? That's, that's crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Will it be the, the last one? Naf looking for the entries, as is Mixwell. And uh, Envious, they're running out of grenades. They've got one smoke grenade left with a minute and 20 seconds on the clock. It's waiting for that Optic push. And I mean, Optic, you know, having Mixwell on the op, you do want to give him some time to try to work that early into the round, but it's starting to get a little bit late here. One, the one minute mark is usually when you start to see them say, okay, let's, let's give up the ghost here. Let's just go for it, get some uh, map control. And here you can see the movement coming outside. Tarek going to line himself up a smoke. So a wall of smokes here from Russian Tarek. Will Apex push it? Apex is so key in that sense. He has to play alone, but he has to get the info here. Because Optic are trying to play a dangerous game. You can pop flash yourself in that position that Apex is standing in. But here we go, Optic towards the ramp, in fact. Sixer, does he have enough of an off, off angle? Look how fast Mixwell was. He must have spotted the Sixer, surely. Kenny, though, to save the day. Sixer's the bait, and they've fallen into oh. the trap. The bomb is down. They've got 24 seconds. Sixer's still there on the ramp. In a vulnerable position, though. Once again, they're playing it so slowly, and the spray comes in. Sixer anchoring Ramp very effectively. And Kenny as well, swooping in like Superman right there with the AWP. Found himself a perfect angle to stop Optic. And now Optic take a timeout. And I definitely think that it's, it's very interesting that we're seeing Optic suddenly play so, so slowly, not giving themselves time if something goes wrong. And sure, there was a round or two where they were still able to make it work, but that's because nothing did go wrong, because they're just hitting all their shots. But that's not always, not always going to happen, and we started to see that. So now Optic is starting to think about this one. They don't want to allow Envious back into the game, but already their economy is now being broken. So Envious do have a chance here to bring this back to overtime. It will take six in a row to do that. But at the very least, they're going to force uh, Optic will be forced into a safe round. Pistols have shown to be quite dangerous in this tournament so far, but uh, with, about, with an average of two thousand dollars, Optic can barely afford pistols. That said, we've got some P250s coming out, but Envy look good for double figures. 
at the conclusion of this round again. Envy are playing for their tournament life at the moment. Optic already a game up, and they have many match points to come. And a bit of a, a faster approach on the outside area. Somewhat faster, but of course it's because they have Bissels. So, and no, uh, not much in the way of utilities to work with at this point. There's no grenades at all. Envy should have spotted that, I think. Yeah, you can see the rotation comes in through ramp. Getting themselves in position to deal with this. All the footsteps are heard. Should be a quick round here for Envious to take. One frag from Stanislaw. Uh, whoa, he, he finds another one there with a P250. And Mixwell chimes in as well. All of a sudden, one versus two. Obviously, Mixwell, he's got no Kevlar. He's got a Glock. So we can't expect too much from him here. But this is damage that Envious can't really afford to take. One versus two. I was wondering where Kenny's AWP was. There it is. That would have been very dangerous had it fallen into the hands of Mixwell. That dinosaur is desperately hold, hoping that so Envy can bring this one back. Five rounds. And they need 100% success. Do Envy Optic on another buy. Five AKs coming in. Their loss bonus will continue to rise as they lose rounds, should they lose more rounds as well, which means the buyers will get Mina and Mina coming towards the Envy side. But for now, Envy have the uh, full buy. They've got an AK onto Apex as well. It's a good guy to have holding an AK. And the Wall of Smokes is lined up from Optic. So once again, the wall of smokes indeed, as you said, is often allowed Optic to take a lot of map control. But this time, we have Kenny and Apex who can play aggression outside. The AWP for Kenny, Apex for the AK, pops up, doesn't get a quick headshot. Not the quick headshot he was looking for, he has to fall back quickly now. The thing is that Optic don't have to go down to secret, but they are actually. And Apex, he doesn't have any grenades left. He, he can't slow them down any longer. He has to take the fight. And Kenny S can push in the back as well. What can Apex get here? He's going to retreat. Smart play from Apex. Kenny S is literally flanking with an AWP. How much can he get done in this situation? They've moved forward enough. That's going to actually benefit him. He can raise the alarm for his teammates as well, but he can't land the shot to Mixwell. Mixwell knows where he's now. There goes Stanislaw though, and the bomb, and Mixwell goes down as well. Rush, he's got two kills. He needs to do more damage at the very least in this round. He lost a 15-7 lead yesterday on Nuke. Oh, Rush though, he's put himself in a one versus one. He's got four HP. Kenny S, will he go down to the CZ? One frag, one more frag for Rush, and he's got an ace in this round. This guy is absolutely nuts. Searching for Kenny. Can he catch him off guard here? Where is Kenny? Rush has 30 seconds to play with now. The bomb is down. He really needs to get the kill onto Kenny. And he's moving into the vents here. Rush, the tension's high with four HP. 20 seconds now. Where is Kenny S? He's found himself a safe position to hide in. But it's all a guessing game. He spots, he spots Rush. He's given up his position now. Can he escape in time? He's stuck there behind the side. Oh, oh my oh. God. Picks him out of the air like a clay pigeon. Lovely shot there. Under pressure, Kenny S delivers. That's one of the most tense things that I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. By the skin of their teeth. Envy are still in this. Happy on the Mag 7 now. Kenny continues with the AWP. Nerves of steel. That was so awkward for both sides. Four more rounds for Envy. We have the Tech Nines coming at them from Optic. Two plays of Kevlar, two smoke, two flashes for the Optic side. Will it be a fast play? Kenny once again on the outside. And when Optic have had buys, Kenny hasn't had much to do outside. He's been smoked off and uh, it's been nothing for him to see. He's in a similar position, but there are a lot less grenades on Optic. Yeah, Envious can pass rest easy, but not, never too easy against Optic. We saw them with a round like this, with less actually, get it down to two players for Envious. So, scary stuff. I miss playing the Mag 7 in this position. It is a lot of fun. I'm sure Happy agrees. Two players for Optic outside. They're a little bit spread out at the moment. Lobby and outside is where they are mostly. And there are the Wall of Smokes. So that's going to help to give them some free passage, ho help to close down the ranges as well. Obviously not get picked off by Kenny, which would be very sad for them. So they're taking that out of the equation. Oh, and the pop flash, the good old pop flash through the smoke. What can they get with that? Happy, this is not really a good range. It's taken down immediately. Where's the Drape for Apex? There is one. Mixwell comes in just in time. And it's a three versus three suddenly. Two plays on the high ground for the CC. So can they stop the bomb from going down? Yes, they can. Stanislaw versus two, but he's got an AWP. Shoulder peaking, but he can't get anything more done. Another round in the bag for Envy. How far can they go on Nuke? You have to wonder if those nerves are creeping into Optic now. We were 15-7 up on Nuke yesterday. We couldn't close that. Now Envy are just three rounds behind us, and they continue to charge.
That is such an important second kill from N for, from Apex there. Then the fact that Envy have two players on the high ground, they can approach both sides of the silo. Monstrous stuff for the French side. Momentum finally in their favor. Three more rounds. Just three more rounds now. This is a massive comeback so far from Envious. They're going, they're going to realize any mistake could cost them. This series could cost them the finals, which means so much to them. Optic once again playing a slow start. Again, usually around one minute we'll start to see them going for the wall of smokes if there's no action. And we see a different setup here from Envious. Not really having as much outside presence. Kenny S is playing outside, but he's playing from quite a far back position. He has a, a very quick rotation time to ramp to heaven, to hell. But he's not too committed outside, not in a flanking position as we saw previously. And here it is, around one minute we get the smokes outside and Optic start to move. NBK just holding a, uh, a Molotov in the lower area, doing a shocks esque play. He's not really shoulder peeking though. So I do wonder what's going on with uh, NBK at the moment, but in the meantime, okay, he is there. We have a focus on the A side from these teams. That is unfavorable for Apex. Down at Kenny Escobar as well. Big problems. Happy shot from out of nowhere. It's a five versus two. It's back point and only six remains. He's on a high ground and nowhere he is. Down goes the bomb. In comes Molotov. And there is the GG. 16 to 12. Optic finally take it over the line and make their way to the finals. We saw a lot of heart and spirit there on the fight, on the road back to some kind of a recovery to overtime for Envious. But Optic Gaming, they are.